Hi, this is Catherine from In The Pink Designs. I have a hollow, another Halloween project today. This one is a little bit more monochromatic. The last one was very colorful. Um, and I'm using the Hallow's Night Magic stamp set and Halloween Magic dies along with the brightly gleaming specialty designer series paper. Okay. Now, I already did the stamping and embossing on this. Um, I used the stamp that goes around the die. There's two sizes of die in this set. Um, and what I did was I stamped it in, I did the, the, the edges first. I stamped it in Versamark, and then I put some black embossing powder from my stash. I don't believe Stampin' Up! has a black. Um, and then I stamped, I heat, I put a heat tool on that, and then I stamped Happy Halloween in Versamark and put the black uh, powder on it and heat, heated that up. Okay, and I also, I don't know if you can see the detail in this little guy. Oh my goodness. It's so beautiful. There's this one, and then there's a bigger one. I have some of them. Let me show you. I don't know if you can see. It's much bigger than this one. There's two, and then there's three little guys that you can also, in the die set. But the little guys don't have a stamp. Okay, so we're going to start with a piece of basic black that is eight by seven. I'm going to get the simple score and we're going to start on the eight inch side. We're going to score it at half, one half, three and a quarter, four and a quarter, and seven. Okay, and then we're going to turn the paper so that the six, the seven inches at the top and we're going to score at one, five and a half, and six and a half. Okay. So I will have the measurements and everything um, on my blog. I will put a link below. All right. So now we just have to burnish, fold and burnish. skinny rectangle along the top and along the right hand left hand side sorry left hand side and this is what we want to do okay so there's just a couple pieces we're going to get rid of this piece and all of this and just this piece and this piece okay alrighty okay so we'll start with the bottom and there's a skinny rectangle down here. We're going to get rid of that and wedge up the rectangle above it. And then the bottom's pretty, pretty good, pretty easy. You just um, cut the rectangle straight and wedge a little bit out of each square. And there's two rectangles and two squares on the bottom. Okay, now for the top. Okay, it's easy to, um, the way I figure out which one is my flap, this is going to be my back because this is the tab. Okay, so the one that's closest to the long skinny rectangle, the skinniest one, that's the piece that the flap we don't need. Okay, so we're just going to completely take away everything up to the square there. 
and then we're just going to wedge the square. Okay. And then we're going to cut the flap straight and just wedge out of the square and cut the little tiny piece off the top. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, now we need our detail trio punch. And we're gonna round the corner of the corners of the flat. our tear and tape and you're going to put it on the outside which would these are all folding in so you, you don't want it on the inside of that skinny flap you want it on the outside okay so we're going to put some tear and tape close to the score line and there's fireworks outside <laughs> And my dog is going to absolutely freak out. He's going to try to climb on. Okay. So then this is going to be our front flap, but we need to flip this over and put some tear and tape on that. But you really don't have to yet, if, you, if, it, if it confuses you to figure out what's going to be the last flap closing, you can put your box together first and then do that. Okay, let me just get my pick. And then we're going to fold this over. I'm going to fold that flap over to meet it. Okay, and then you're going to close your top because that helps you keep the box square when you put the bottom together. Okay, and before, well, no, we can't do that yet. All right. Okay, so this is going to be our back. So we're going to put in the tabs and fold down the back, and then this is where our tear and tape is. Okay, and there's our box. Now we're gonna want, <laughs> I'm having a hard time finding the end. No, that's the flap, so it's here, here it is. We're going to put a um, finger hole here, but we want to put our um, DSP on first. Okay, so this is the Gleaming Brightly Designer Series paper. That's the other side, which is kind of Christmassy, but this particular one I felt like lent its well, itself nicely to the Halloween. Okay, so we have two pieces that are four and three eighths by two and five eighths. Okay, and they're gonna go on the front. You don't always have to put one on the back, but I kind of wanted to do it this time. Okay, and you have two pieces that are four and three eighths by seven eighths, and that's for the sides. And two pieces that are two and five eighths by seven eighths, and that's gonna be for the bottom and the top. Okay, I'll get my stamping seal.
There it is. Okay. Now we have our DSP on. And I have a 7 8 inch circle punch. And I'm just going to take a little finger hole. You could do this before. Uh, just put your designer series paper on before you put the box together. And then you won't have to do it twice. Okay. To go in this, um, in this one, I got these cute, it says it's Kool-Aid Goulade popping candy, which is pretty much, I'm assuming it's just like um, pop rocks. But I saw these in ShopRite, uh, Walmart, and they also had three packs in Dollar Tree. So, those I mean, you could put a lot of different snacks in here, but also I got the Pop Rocks. There's four in there, the Pop Rocks. One of each. And they also fit in here very nicely. Okay, so you can get the Pop Rocks or the Kool-Aid Kool-Aid Goulade popping candy. Or anything you like. Okay, now that our box is done, we're going to work on the stamped pieces. And we need some pop dots. I'm just going to put two on this one. And I'm going to attach it to the black layer piece that I cut out. This is also Pretty Peacock and Basic Black. These dies. Okay, and we're gonna make sure this is our back and I kinda want it to go that way, so there we go. All right, now I'm gonna put through, um, one, two, three, four. But first I'm going to wrap my ribbon on. Now you could also get that beautiful mesh ribbon that would look gorgeous with this. I don't have it. Hopefully I will get it in my next order. Okay, and I'm just gonna tie it so that it come, the bow is right up here at the edge. And this is the metallic edged ribbon in in the uh, white. Okay, I'll take these off. And it's not hard to stamp. I just on my last video, I really put you through a lot of embossing, <laughs> so I figured I would just do it ahead of time. And then the ribbon can slip out if they don't want to keep that on. And then we have our bat, and I just folded his wings. I just put my thumb on his body and pushed up the wings a little just to make him fly a little bit. And I'm just going to take a glue dot. Put 
going on in. And I'm just going to kind of put them in between the two, touching both of them. Okay, and now I just have some basic rhinestone or basic rhinestone basic jewels. Is that how you say? I always forget. And I just scattered them on here. And that's it. And it's kind of a um, more masculine, I guess, or adult, let's say, rather than all the bright, bright orange and purple. <laughs> Thank you so much for stopping by my uh, channel today. I would love it if you would subscribe and hit the like button. Um, you can purchase all of these goodies from me at Stampin' Up! at the address above. And I would love it if you would subscribe. As I, as I said before, you, I do videos three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Bye.